Rational numbers contain integers and fractions that is decimal numbers both of them. Rational numbers are those numbers which can be represented in the form of p by q and p and q both have to be integers. These types of fractions or decimal numbers fall in the category of rational numbers. Look at this. These types of fractions or decimal numbers also fall in the category of rational numbers. Numbers of the type uh, 2 by 7 or 3.1875 are terminating decimal numbers and that is they have finite decimal places. This type of numbers are called as terminating decimal numbers. Do you see a difference in this decimal number? Yes, these types of decimal numbers are known as non-terminating decimal numbers as well as recurring numbers. This type of numbers are rational numbers and in this type of decimal numbers with the repeating structure is known as the period. In this case, 1 6 is the period and the number of digits in the period is known as the periodicity of the decimal. In this case, 1 6 is a two digit number, so the periodicity of the decimal is 2. These types of decimal numbers also fall in the category of rational numbers. Let's see how. Let x be 23.161616 and so on. Mark this as equation 1. Now multiply this equation 1 with 100. It becomes 100x is equal to 2316.161616. Now mark this as equation 2. Now equation 2 minus equation 1 gives us 100x minus x is equal to 2316.161616 minus 23.161616. So 99x is equal to 2293 and x is equal to 2293 divided by 99. Thus it is in the form of p by q where p and q are integers. Here you can see that this type of non-terminating decimal numbers can also be expressed in p by q form. Therefore, we can say that these types of decimal numbers also fall in the category of rational numbers. Can you see the difference in these types of numbers with the previously discussed numbers? Right. Unlike the previous case, it doesn't have a particular structure which is repeating. These types of decimals are known as irrational numbers. And the number written here is nothing but the value of pi pi 22 by 7 one of the best examples of irrational numbers now let us see what the different types of decimal numbers are and see which ones can be included in the category of rational numbers 1 23.00005 2 7.1362 divided by 11 3 78.2345 bar 4 431.7 Let's try to work together and see how these numbers can be brought in p by q form Solutions First 23.00005 is equal to 23 lakhs and 5 divided by 1 lakh Second, 7.1362 divided by 11 is equal to 71362 divided by 11 into 1 by 10,000 which is equal to 71,362 divided by 1,10,000 and children pay very special attention to the third one. Okay? Third. 
78.2345 bar is equal to let x be 78.2345454545 and so on mark this as equation 1 now multiply the equation 1 with 100 it becomes 100x is equal to 7823.4545445 mark as equation 2 now again multiply the equation 1 with 10000 it becomes 10000x is equal to 7823455545445 mark this as equation 3 now equation 3 minus equation 2 gives 10000x minus 100x which is equal to 7823455545 minus 7823.454545 so 9900x is equal to 774522 so x is equal to 7,74,522 divided by 9,900 which is in P by Q form where P by Q are integers. In the case of rational numbers, one rational number cannot be less than as well as greater than another rational number. It is very logical, isn't it? only one of the possibilities will exist. This law is known as the law of trichotomy. See this example. Are both the statements true? 3 is greater than 1 and 3 is less than 1. In this example, we can see that 3 is greater than 1 but 3 is definitely not less than 1 so only one statement is valid at a time not both let's look at one more interesting property of rational numbers the transitive property in case of rational numbers if x is greater than y and y is greater than z then automatically x is greater than z and this is known as the transitive property Ram, Sham and Rajesh are brothers. Sham is younger than Ram and Ram is younger than Rajesh. So obviously Sham is younger than his brother Rajesh. This is the transitive law. In case of rational numbers, if x is greater than y and z is not equal to 0, then x plus z is greater than y plus z. This property can be further understood by this example. Ram has more chocolates than his brother Sham. Upon return from work, their father gave both of them equal number of chocolates. Despite this addition, Ram still has more chocolates than his brother Sham. In case of rational numbers, if x is greater than y and z is positive, then x into z is greater than y into z. This law is valid only if we take a positive value for z. But it is not valid if we take a negative value for z like this example. If 4 is greater than 2 and let us take a positive number 9 and multiply it with 4 and 2 separately, we can see the result 9 into 4 is equal to 36 and 9 into 2 is equal to 18. Therefore, 9 into 4 is greater than 2 into 9. Let's understand how it is invalid by actually using a negative number for z. But when we take a negative number like a minus 6, then 4 into minus 6 is equal to minus 24 and 2 into minus 6 is equal to minus 12 and minus 24 is less than minus 12. As you can see that the above statement only holds true if we multiply both sides with a positive number. Wasn't this a great exercise to understand the transitive property? Let's meet Raju and his parents. 
Raju wants to go and purchase some pencils from the market. Raju's father is giving rupees seven and his mother gives rupees four. It's eleven rupees, isn't it? Let's see if we reverse the amount of money Raju gets from his parents, whether it will make a difference in the total amount he will have or not. Now, when the father is giving rupees four and his mother is giving rupees seven, he still will end up with a total of eleven rupees. Four plus seven is equal to eleven, and seven plus four is also equal to eleven. Therefore, seven plus four is equal to four plus seven. Therefore, addition is commutative. So far, we have seen that in both cases the result is the same. So the order of the numbers placed in addition is not important, and this property is known as right commutative property. Now. Let us see with the help of another example whether multiplication is commutative or not. Let's see. Raju is eager to buy some new pencils. He has five packets and with each packet containing three pencils. Can you tell me how many total pencils are there in Raju's hand now? Five packets of pencils and each packet containing three pencils. So total pencils with Raju is. Five into three, which is equal to fifteen. Let's try to change this scene a little. What if Raju has only three packets and with each packet containing five pencils? Quickly, can you guess how many total pencils will be there in Raju's hand now? Three packets of pencils and each pack containing five pencils. Total pencils with Raju is three into five, which is equal to fifteen. Of course. Fifteen pencils in this case too. Good. Three into five is equal to fifteen, and five into three is also equal to fifteen. Therefore, five into three is equal to three into five. We have seen that numbers can be multiplied in any order, and we will still get the same result. This particular property is known as commutative property. Three minus five is not equal to five minus three. Therefore, subtraction is not commutative, and three by five is not equal to five by three either. Therefore, division is also not commutative. You can clearly see from this example that subtraction and division are not commutative. Only addition and multiplication share this property. Let's see how many sweets did Raju eat. Can you calculate that Raju has had a total of ten sweets, three in his own home and seven at his friend Rohan's home? Raju ate sweets, three at home and five plus two at Rohan's house. So total sweets eaten by Raju is three plus five plus two, which is three plus seven. That is ten. Now let us see another case. Here Raju has eight sweets at his own home and two at Rohan's home. Raju ate sweets, three plus five at home, and two sweets at Rohan's house. So total sweets eaten by Raju are three plus five plus two, which is eight plus two, is equal to ten. So total of ten sweets again. So three plus five plus two. Which is equal to three plus seven, which is equal to ten, and three plus five plus two is equal to eight plus two, is equal to ten. Therefore, three plus five plus two is equal to three plus five plus two. Addition and multiplication are associative. Friends, can you see that a change in grouping does not change the result? This means the brackets can be moved, and we will still get the same result. This property is known as the associative property. Therefore, addition is associative. Similarly, multiplication is also associative. But, 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 division and subtraction are not. You can see that identity is that number which, on doing any operation with that number, 
does not change the value of that number. 5 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus 5 is equal to 5. Here 0 does not change the number. So 0 is the identity in addition. Now in multiplication 5 into 1 is equal to 1 into 5 is equal to 5. So here 1 does not change the number. So automatically 1 is the identity in multiplication. We have seen our friend Raju has eaten a lot of sweets today. So now let us say bye to him and say hi to a new concept of inverse in addition. Inverse of a number is that number which on an operation, uh, here the operation is addition. Okay. So now on that operation with the number itself will give the identity of that operation. In this case 0 is the identity. 5 plus minus 5 is equal to minus 5 plus 5 is equal to 0. Therefore, minus 5 is the number which on addition with 5 gives 0 or the identity of addition. So, minus 5 is the inverse of 5 in addition. Similarly, inverse of 3 is minus 3, inverse of minus 10 is 10 and so on. In case of multiplication, 5 into 1 by 5 is equal to identity of multiplication which is 1. Therefore, 1 by 5 is the number which on multiplied with 5 gives 1. So, identity of multiplication. Therefore, 1 by 5 is the inverse of 5 in multiplication. Similarly, the inverse of 3 is 1 by 3 and inverse of 1 by 10 is 10 and so on.